Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can create an animation to simulate smashing things. So um, if you've ever seen some slow motion uh, videos of people shooting bullets or paintballs at objects and watching them explode, um, you can simulate that inside of Cinema 4D. So I'm gonna show you just kind of a basic example of that and then I'll show you an example that I created um, that kind of shows that uh, in a little bit more detail. Um, none of this is going to be really polished. This is more just to show you how to do that. Um, so, um, and the other thing that to keep in mind is that we're not using any um, any plugins here. This is all going to be created by us. So, you know, the first one we're going to talk about is just basically taking an object and smashing it into another, where the sphere is going to smash into this cube, and boom, we're going to see it break apart like that okay so let's get started here let's just create a new project um, we'll grab a cube that we're gonna make editable and we'll go to um, this polygon mode and I'm gonna hit K and then J on my computer and I want to make sure that uh, I've got cut all free um, and, I'm, and I'm not doing it to um, only visible cut, so I'm going to be able to cut this in any direction I want. So if I just start slicing this up here, um, I should start seeing, you know, real-time cuts across my my cube. So let's just do a fair amount um, of cuts, and then maybe rotate it a little bit and just kind of even out. The shatters, you know, this is just creating how you want this thing to shatter. So obviously, if you wanted it to shatter in one specific area, there'd be a little bit more detail. But in this case, we're creating an animation where the whole thing is going to just blast apart. So we'll just start, stop with something like that, and then I'm just going to hit uh, Command A to select everything, and then I'm going to go to Disconnect. And I'm going to select the little settings uh, button next to disconnect and then uncheck preserve groups um, just like that okay so we've got a good start um, the next thing we need to do is we're going to put this inside of a uh, fracture and we're gonna make sure that our mode is set to explode segments and I'm also gonna change my gravity a little bit to um, gravity if it's set to a thousand uh, this thing's just gonna kind of like fall apart once it has a tag on it uh, I'll show you what I mean in a second so we're gonna turn gravity off by putting it at zero um, and we might actually adjust that later um, and then we're gonna create a cube or sorry a sphere we're gonna just kind of size down a little bit and I'm just gonna keyframe this something like that so that it passes through and then I'll keep my uh, I'll just select these two keyframes I created and I'll make sure they're set to linear so I get a nice linear path all right um, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to add some simulation tags so for fracture we're gonna add a rigid body and make sure it's set to all elements um, still nothing is happening and then for the sphere, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set a, um, a rigid body. And now you'll notice just with that, I already have my smash happening. And it looks pretty cool. Um, another thing you can do is adding, you know, right now we just have these little fragments that look like, make my, my box look like it's a, you know, it's a piece of paper basically. But if you want to add a little depth to this, we can always simulate some cloth, throw our fracture in it, and uh, make sure that we've got a little bit of thickness set to this. It'll slow down the render time, but now as these pieces blow apart, you can see I've got some depth inside of my cube. Um, so yeah, you'll notice that this whole thing is blowing apart. Um, and we may only want part of it to blow apart. And you can, there's some further tweaks you need to make. 
um, by kind of like duplicating the cube and, and, and giving it you know only certain elements of this that tag but for this bare bones example just showing you how to do this and uh, and then also to show you kind of another example of some cool things that you could do with this um, I created this um, kind of like a simulation of like a bullet passing through this vase and again this is very crudely done um, I created this very quickly but basically um, as I click play once this gets to my vase you'll see it does a cool job of kind of smashing the stem of the vase and then continuing on um, and you'll notice my bullet is on a downward trajectory and that's because for this um, you know obviously after the bullet passes through I want my vase to respond to some gravity but I don't want it to be set to the full amount of gravity so I'll show you what I mean um, if I jump back into my project settings for this particular project I have um, my gravity set to 10 um, and so it's if it was set to um, and what I also did is my um, dynamics tag I have it um, I actually have it keyframed so um, for the for my lathe I have it set to not enable until it's impacted by the bullet um, and that just allows me to keep the structure of my vase otherwise um, I think we just start tumbling to the ground so that helps um, you know so if I get rid of these tags and show you what I mean if I do something like this and then turn have my have it enabled you'll notice it already starts to fall apart and I can see it kind of sp this specular little things appearing and you can see it's already tumbling down and of course if I had it at my full project default of a thousand this thing's just gonna you know just disappear so we don't want that so you know thinking in terms of shooting it in slow-mo um, I want my keyframes there so that it truly um, it truly is not enabled until it gets to right there Now I have to also make sure my gravity is set back because you'll notice my bullet has no steam on it whatsoever. Um, so that's why I keep this at 10. And I just have it set. And it's still, you know, it kind of mimics maybe a downward trajectory of a bullet responding to gravity, but it simulates a cool uh, kind of slow motion effect. So. You can think of a lot of different ways where you could apply this to smashing objects, you know, 3D modeling glass spheres, or even, you know, a watermelon, or um, you know, uh, and another tutorial we're gonna I'm gonna do next is kind of how do you create like a wrecking ball effect to smash a building. But anyway, this is just kind of a quick tutorial to show you how you can um, smash things in Cinema 4D and create some slow motion effects. Um, thanks for watching.